All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Dragon Boss Guide. Now, the Dragon is the fifth floor boss and the only fifth floor boss. The Dragon has a few different attacks, and for the most part, they're all relatively easy to avoid and pretty simple to handle. Now, I'll quickly go over them right now before we start the fight and then point them out as we go through the fight. Uh, the first attack that the Dragon has is his Flame Breath. He will charge up his, his uh, you'll see an animation on his mount. He'll slowly breathe fire and follow you as you're moving across the stage. For this attack, if you, the second you see the animation, run as fast as you can to one of the sides, then slowly go to the other side. And by the time you reach the other side, the attack should end, and you won't have to like dodge roll in between the attacks or do anything too crazy. His next attack is that he will do a different type of breath where he will shoot his head forward and then quickly breathe fire across the entire uh, room. So you just have to dodge roll in front through this attack and you'll be fine. Another one of his attacks is he will shoot out sort of rings, uh, semicircles of bullets from his gun. And so he'll just shoot out multiple ones of those. There's about five or six of those attacks. He'll just shoot them out and you use sidestep for dodge rolls needed. I pretty much sidestep all those. It's not really too much to worry about. His next attack is that he shoots out bouncing bullets. So for this attack, what he does is he'll shoot out uh, about four waves of bouncing bullets. And all you have to do for this is hide in one of the corners and then dodge roll into the corner whenever a bullet's about to hit you. And you that's pretty much all you have to do to avoid it. Another attack that requires you to hide in the corner is his wing attack. So he'll flap his wings and bring in bullets that'll come from both sides and then go to the opposite side. And for that, you just hide in the corner. And as you see a bullet coming into that corner line, just dodge roll uh, into the corner to avoid the bullet, and it's really fine. Uh, another one of his attacks is he'll throw out two knives, and these are the only adds the boss throws out. And all you have to do is stick in a corner, kill the ad on your side, and then run to the other side and kill that other ad. That's really all there is to it. Another one of his attacks is he throws out, he'll shoot out five skulls. All you have to do with these skulls is they chase you, and they don't actually blow up and do anything, so just use a gun and kill them nothing too difficult and finally one of his last attacks is that he will bring out his rpg and he'll shoot it to the back of the room and that will cause a um, ring of bullets to shoot out from the center and go after you so without further ado let's start the dragon fight so let me switch guns so first, these are the five skulls I was talking about. At the same time, there's his dragon breath. There's another one, so he'll do an Uzi style attack. All right, so this is his other breath. So you just have to slowly make your way across the room and you avoid all the bullets. This is his bouncing bullets attack. Hide in the corner, dodge roll. And there's the fourth one. All right, there's another breath attack. All right, the wings. So let me quickly switch here to different gun. So all I have to do is keep it on the right side and see if anything comes at me. Every so often you can blank your bullets. This is his pistol shot. So he'll shoot out five or six of these. There's the sixth one and you're good. All right, we're back to the skulls. And bouncing bullets again. So I dodge roll into my corner. Stay in my corner. Alright. The wing attack generally does follow right after it. So you can pretty much just chill in your corner. Alright. I'm going to blink that. Alright. Here's the RPG. And you dodge on. You have to be careful. There are some missiles that fly out with it. Okay, breath. So just slowly walk, 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 and you dodge. Alright, I didn't quite start at the side, but it's fine. I sidestepped the bullets. And four, and five, and six. Five. Oh, see, he skipped that one. All right, so we're almost to the second phase. 
Second phase, honestly, is much easier than the first phase. And, alright, silencing bullets again. The dodge. Alright, second phase. Once you get him down to about 10% health, he will start his second phase. For this, this is purely a dodge roll phase. All you have to do is know your way how to dodge roll. So you just dodge roll through these lines of bullets. And he's just, he's, a, he's invulnerable during this point, so there's no point in attacking. Just completely focus on dodge rolling. And now once you dodge roll through, he will show his heart. Just pummel his heart down. And it stays up for a few seconds. And then you rinse and repeat till you kill him. And that's actually the essence of this phase. It's actually probably one of the easiest phases in the game for a boss fight. It's kind of just like a, don't fuck up and you'll be fine. Alright, let me switch to a... Uh, I'm just locking my camera. And back. Uh, let's see. I'll keep using the siren. And if you do have blanks left, uh, the blanks during this phase operate on a local blanking. They won't blank the entire map of bullets. So you can't just like use a blank and expect to win the fight. Doesn't work like that. Can't cheat. All right. The next phase, I should I should win it. And it is safer just to directly go from box to box. If you try to skip boxes, you might accidentally get hit by a bullet. And always back up a little bit bit, bit because you don't want to jump into a pit. And that's it. That's the dragon fight. Probably not too difficult. And very few attacks you have to worry about. Most of them involve dodge rolling or sidestepping, as always. Thanks for watching, guys.